Hey now, what's going on guys? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got back from the theaters because there was not a screening for this movie. Yes, I paid my own money to go see this movie. Hitman Agent 47, which is a 2015 film that's indeed the reboot to the Hitman franchise or the franchise that they are desperately trying to get started because there was a Hitman movie back in 2007. Yeah, we're going to try this again. The plot of this movie is we meet Agent 47, the Hitman, who is on a job, a mission, where he's supposed to locate this girl and her father and kill them. It's as simple as that. However, most of this movie deals with this girl and what's so special about her. Why is everybody targeting her and her father? Now what I thought of this movie was, it's bad. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. I cannot believe that this is their second chance. This is the second time around and they fucked it up even more. Because the first Hitman movie, it's not terrible. It's not very good, but it's not terrible. This movie, the plot is even more dull and boring. And not that it doesn't make sense, because sure, it's straightforward, it makes sense, but you just don't give a fuck about anything going on. Let me first talk about Agent 47, played by Rupert Friend. This is an actor that I'm not aware of at all. Uh, and he shaved his head, he, you know, tried to look the part, and he plays the character fairly well. All you have to do, really, to play this character is to be emotionless, is to be just a, a straight-up assassin, a killer. There are scenes where he pulls that off very well, and there's a lot of moments that are uh, callbacks, throwbacks to the video games, certain scenes of him strangling people with a string or or him camouflaging himself with different disguises and trying to not be detected. Stuff like that I appreciated because that's in the game. I played the games. So there were moments. There were moments of where, okay, they at least got it more in these senses. But, and I will also say, let me, let me stay in the positives for a second. I will also say that I liked the approach in the first 20... 30 minutes of this movie where it was almost like the hitman was the villain where he was coming after this girl and he was like a terminator and they spent a lot of time with the girl which I'll get to that but they spent a lot of time with her and, and it made it seem like she was more the main character and then the hitman would come after her and you'd see him like out in the distance walking towards her just stoic stone face and I said okay this is different but I was kind of digging it until you get to the actual story and plot. The actress is Hannah Ware. I didn't like mind her as an actress. She wasn't bad. She's attractive. But I just didn't care about her as a character. I'm sorry, but this is, this is just something to where they did it again. Where they give me this plot and story that I don't, like I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this girl who her father was directly responsible for this whole program that created assassins and created age of 47 and she's been turned into like uh, an assassin of sorts on her own so she has these heightened senses and when i say heightened senses this movie really means that she can predict the fucking future she gets flashes of things that hasn't happened yet she's a mutant like that's a power that's a superpower that's not <laughs> okay fine she's been experimented on Whatever. It's just the movie spent so much time with her. What's the name of this movie? Hitman Agent 47, right? I know if you're not a fan of the video games or familiar with it, the the Hitman is probably a very boring, uninteresting, just emotionless character, but that's what he's supposed to be. He's just supposed to be cold and, and everything like that. I just wish that we, we stayed more with him or we at least... Uh, touched on some of the stuff where, like for example, there's there's a couple of scenes where he just sits down in a chair in a hotel room, and that's how he sleeps. His guns are right next to him, and and he he sleeps 
but he's always alert. He's always ready to fight. Moments like that, it's like you, we could build off of that. Why do we always have to make the, the plot of these movies about somebody else? Somebody that I don't care about. Zachary Quinto plays John Smith, which you can probably figure out that's not a real name. He too is an assassin of sorts. He's supposed to be like somebody further along in the program, so he's... Okay, fuck it. Clearly I'm just giving spoilers away. I don't really give a fuck. This is me warning you to not see this movie. You find out Zachary Quinto is like... He has this this metal skin or something to where he just can't fucking die. If you shoot at him, or if you do this to them, do that to him, he won't fucking die. He's just he's he's literally a terminator. To talk about the most wasted actor in this movie, I love him as a villain, especially. I mean, I know he plays Spock in the new Star Trek movies, but like on Heroes, he's just he can be evil. He can be cool and badass. In this movie, he's just bland. And nothing to him. Nothing. Nothing. And that's the problem with a lot of this movie, that there's just nothing here. It's generic. Sure, it's bloody. Sure, it's violent. Sure, there's some cool fighting scenes. But that's not enough. It's not enough to where you, you might throw in some fighting and action here and there, but I'm just sitting there when it gets to the plot stuff, when it gets time for characters to talk, and I don't care. I'm disinterested. I'm just sitting there, looking at the time, and going like, wow, this movie's only an hour and a half long, and it felt longer. I, I just, I did not care for this movie. I didn't like this movie. The plot and writing is just so, like, why can't we just do what the video games do? Just throw in a bunch of fucking awesome action. Play it like a video game. Do some of these action scenes where it's one shot. Or, or like play with what happens in the games. Like play to the fans of these games. Why are you trying to sell it to like a broader audience who couldn't give a fuck about any of this. So what you're giving us is a really watered down, no thought behind it script. In characters and... and Fuck! Fuck. This movie, I'm gonna give it some old bullshit. I wasn't pissed off enough to say fuck you. I wasn't angry while sitting there watching it. I was more sitting there and just disappointed. Disappointed because I do think there is potential to have, I'm not saying the godfather of, of a Hitman movie. I'm not saying it's going to be the best written movie ever, but a fun movie, a fun action movie, like John Wick, or something to where you just sit there and go like, this is badass. Fucking A. That's not what we got in this movie. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in seeing this movie. If you have seen this movie, what do you think of it? Like, comment, subscribe. Later.